Today I want to show you a unique way that you can use water, which is a great conductor for electricity. And you can use your Infrex unit using water as your electrode and probably help you gain even greater pain relief. Now, one of the things you have to understand, I want to make it crystal clear, and Jeff has had this little float come down so you'll know it in red. Do not, do not have the Infrex unit plugged into the wall when you do a water treatment. We will not use it plugged into the wall doing a water treatment. What we will use is our batteries. So we're going to use the batteries. Now, I want to show you how we accomplish this. Here is our unit. Note, it is not plugged into the wall. We're depending solely in this unit on the batteries that are in it. Here is our cable with our electrodes. Now, one of the things that occurs is we don't want to use our reusable electrodes because water will make them degrade quicker. So what I do with these is rather than using reusable electrodes, I'm going to use a permanent, what they call a carbon rubber electrode. I'll put that one there. I will then pull out my other electrode. And it really doesn't matter the size of the electrode when you're doing a water treatment. But I will put the cable into here. All right. Now, what we're going to begin to do, and I want to show you why. I have here a tub of water. Now, one of the things to keep in mind, and let me give you a very specific on a patient that we have right now. This particular patient we have right now is experiencing burning pain, left foot, right foot, left hand, right hand. Is it a neuropathy? Is it a vascular problem? We do not know. But that's what happens with chronic pain patients. A lot of times we don't know what the problem is. We're trying to treat the symptom of pain. Now, an interesting thing with this gentleman that has an Infrex unit now is he has noticed, you always ask people, one of the reasons if you go to physical therapy, chiropractor, doctor's office, they will tell you use moist heat, they will tell you to use ice, so on and so forth. That's to help relieve the pain. This particular gentleman, for him, moist heat Warm heat is not that beneficial. Cool is. He likes cool. So one of the things we would do with the water, in most situations, it would be warm water, something that warm. You're trying to increase blood flow and other things. Some patients, it may be best to use cold water. This particular gentleman I'm talking about now, when he's walking around, his feet are fine. It's when he stops, the pain comes. But one of the ways he's found relief is he takes his shoe off and he puts his foot down on a tile floor, which is cool. The coolness is helping relieve the pain. So to him, we would say, when you put your foot in the water to do a water treatment, make it cool water. For most of you, it will be warm water. But literally what you would do, again, without the unit being plugged in, only operating on batteries, put your foot into the water, now what has happened is every bit of that water has become your electrode. So now we would take one of our electrodes, put it on one side, just drop it. Take the other electrode, put it on the other side, just drop it. Now when you turn on the unit and you start increasing on the channel, you increase your power, what you're really doing is right here in the water everywhere it's touching you is conducting electricity. So instead of having an electrode that only touches this much area where you're hurting, you can actually, everywhere the water's around your foot, that's where you're feeling the sensation. Now, if you've seen in one of our previous videos, if you had two feet hurting or you had a foot and an elbow, you can actually treat two different areas using the Infrax unit using water as your electrode. Again, a benefit of using the water, greater surface contact area, which is where you're having the pain. That's very important. The other thing is pay attention to your body, pay attention to what gives you pain relief. Is it moist, warm heat? Does cooling or ice make it? Use that also as an indicator 
whether the water should be warm or hot, and then you use it as the actual electrodes, and you have the whole symptomatic relief of using electrotherapy, interferential, and water at the same time. Neat little thing. I'll close it now with one big thing. Do not, do not use the Infrex unit when it's plugged into the wall. Just a safety issue. We want to use the batteries rather than have it plugged in the wall. Thanks for watching.